Okay, here we are. This is the famous Bob the Tomato. Started off by doing a, a shape there. A shape. And then we do some crazy stuff. We <laughs> length it. We lace. So we outline the eyes. And we, like, do whatever it is. Put a lathe on them as well. Yeah. Put a lathe on the eyes as well. And finally we do the nose after the eyes. There's probably hundreds of ways to go about modeling Bob the Tomato. This is just a, a route that we took, um, Judah and I, to model the Bob the Tomato shape and then the shape of the eyes. So we did the uh, spline shapes and then laced them, as Judah said. And we're going to do the um, eyelids here. We're going around them with the, uh, with the shape tool. And, and we get, um, after we get a spline, then we, we put it through a lathe and make a 3D object of that and um, and that gets our, sh our basic shape for the eye lids and the eyes and now I'm positioning them into the tomato shape there and now what we're going to do is duplicate the inner eye and make a baleen um, make a bowl uh, to cut it out so it has that um, cut out shape that the eyelids have in uh, Bob the Tomato's eyes that you see there. This was about a 45 minute process sped up into a uh, little under five minutes here. So we do another cup, we lighten it out, and then, as you just said, so as you just seen, we um, make a cup, and then we put the eyelashes on, then finally we knew the nose, and then we do the smile after the nose. Then finally the black part. Then the green part. Then the stem, they use the bend. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So what's happening here now is we've, we've done a bowline of each one of the eyelids. And then I made it, I made it edible. And so we can uh, grab each one of the points there and start moving them in. Um, some of the polys and moving them around there to, um, to naturally shape them there. And how his uh, how Bob's eyes there are there where they're met in the middle. Now we're putting in the nose, and we just it's just a sphere. We just uh, sized it uh, according to the picture there, because that's where all of our other shapes are based off of. And we placed it uh, into the body shape. And now here's the black part of his eyes. And what we did is we outlined those and extruded the shape, and then um, we're going to um, shrink wrap it to the white eye. As you see there, we have a shrink mod there. And so that'll hold it to the white part of the eye so we can move it around on there. And then we just duplicated that uh, one on the right and moved it to the one on the left, pasted it over to the one on the left. And then the smile, we just outlined it with a spline there, extruded it, gave it a black texture. Um, now this is a freehand spline drawn there for the little bit of leaf that's on his head. As you see, and now what we're going to do is put that through a formula uh, mod, and that'll give it the wavy leaf that it is on the top of his head. There we go. Now we can position that where we need it, give it a bit of a green texture here, and uh, then all we got left is the stem. How do we do the stem, Judah? Like I said, we did a gray part, then we um, bended it, and then, well. Now we pick a floor. Um, <laughs> this is where Judah was picking out some different floor. Uh, that's ice that he wanted. And then the next one after that was a, a polished uh, floor. So we chose some textures here. And uh, it's just a basic global illumination with a, a sky. And I think I gave the sky a little bit of a blue tent, uh, like he's outside or something. So it's just a global illumination, no default light, and a little bit of sky. Um, and we did, after this, tweak the eyelids and the eye shapes just a little bit more to give it some expression that, that Bob has there in that photo. And here's the finished render. Okay, this is what Bob really looks like, if you don't know Bob. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later into the next show where we make Larry. Oh, we're making Larry. <laughs> Didn't know.